going? I'm Travis from Canaries Marina, and this is the 2016 Antique 230. This has been a really great boat for us, for a family that just wants to get into almost everything, whether it's wakeboarding, wake surfing, tubing, skiing, just cruising around. This boat's been an all-time hit for us. So if it's wake surfing that your family wants to get into, this is a perfect boat for it. What we have on the back here is the Nautique Serve System. It's a six-way adjustable plate, and we're no longer loading the boat on one side that you're gonna be surfing on. You're actually loading the entire boat and then choosing a side with the surf system. The future of customized wake surfing control has arrived with the all-new Nautique Surf Select. Put control into the hands of the surfer with the Nautique Surf Switch for one-touch transfers on the fly. For total customization, the Surf Select app for the Pebble Watch features the ability to display and control the boat's speed, NSS, stereo volume settings, and allows surfers to transfer the wave to either side at the press of a button. The other features that you see underneath the Nautique 230 are our underwater lights, our hydrogate system to change the shape of the wake for skiing or wakeboarding and surfing, and then we also have our surf pipe exhaust. So boarding the boat is actually very easy since the platform is very low to the water. Once you get on the boat, you have a nice sea deck material that is standard throughout the entire boat doesn't soak up any water and cause any kind of smells that you get on a normal carpet. A center walkthrough, you walk right up and over the engine hatch and then down into another step. So you're not walking on any seats to get back in the boat. We do offer a standard seat that will come with the boat that you can snap into it if you did have extra people on the boat and you wanted to make a full cushion. So in the cockpit of this boat, we've got room for 11 people under each seat you've got storage and you've got three rear facing seats as well with your port lean back, your starboard lean back and your spotter seat. So underneath your spotter seat you actually have a ton of storage. You can fit a full size surfboard under here. You also have access to your trash can through your door this way and then you have access to both your batteries. We have a brand new driver's seat as well. It's a race inspired seat that's got pretty low bolsters that still hold you in really nicely. Um, the higher back support and a really nice easy way to get in and out of the seat because these bolsters are dropped down low But they still hold you side to side, you know as the boats coming around turns and we also have a flip up Cushion as well for seeing over the windshield so on the dash. We have our link 2.0 If you look at all the buttons on the side, you're gonna see your home screen your GPS your stereo your user presets all your switches for the boat your ballast settings your main menu and then all of your options that will correspond to each different screen that you have. We also have our hydrogate that we showed you on the back of the boat, our digital throttle, and we also have your adjustable mirror height-wise that folds away nicely. We've got plenty of room up in the bow of the 230. Uh, capacity is at four people. You also have a filler cushion for the center here. You've got a walkway out to the front of the boat on that sea deck pad there. Two speakers in the front made by JL, and you also have your grab rails here as well. So for our tower, we have a couple accessories on here that we added in as options. We did the brand new JL 7.7, .7, two pairs of tower speakers. We also have our camera rotating tow point. You can put a GoPro on here and it'll follow the rider behind the boat. We've got our standard swivel racks. You can spin them in nice and easy, get your boards on and off there. And we have our tower mounted bimini top. Got storage lockers on both sides of the engine hatch that house the ballast tanks. Nice deep storage so you can put a full wakeboard or wake surfboard in there. We also have our engine hatch. In this boat we did the brand new PCM H6. It's a 6 liter, 455 horsepower direct injection. 